done and everything he sent out. You know, I've been saying it for the last couple days. For some reason, I got this awful habit of thinking that Jesus is going to do less than what he can do. I just don't expect as much as I should, but he's really not my soft stop, I guess, in this revival. He's done exceeding abundantly above all that I could have ever asked for or hoped for. And it's just really humbling and it's amazing to me. And it just kind of puts the cherry on top of it all, seeing that little car pulling out there today. Y'all don't know how much it's blessed and it's just, just y'all being here. It's really great privilege and honor. It's one of those things you think, you know, we thought we tried to, you know, work something out and it just didn't really look like it. And then it come back and it's like, well, all right, we're coming. But it's still all day long I had that thought in my head, well, something's probably going to come up. You know, there might be something, you know. But here they are. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. But, and it ain't even man and it ain't even woman. But I know that, you know, Jesus uses his people. He uses, you know, our brothers and sisters in Christ. And I'm so thankful for the family of God. You know, it makes all the difference in the world. It means all the difference. You know, having that fellowship, you know, that godly fellowship. You can't find it anywhere. You can't find Somebody you can confide in, somebody that'll pray for you, somebody that'll fast with you, somebody that'll just encourage you along this journey. You know, you can't find that anywhere. Even though you have churches on every corner, you've got Christians everywhere. But we've done said it, and I say it again, that's going to be probably one of my next most used things. You know, I can quack, I can quack, and I can waddle, but that does not make me a duck. You know, no more than saying I'm a Christian makes me a Christian. Right. We've got to have them fruits. We've yes. got to have those attributes of Jesus. That long suffering, that forbearance, you know, that love and joy and peace and goodness and gentleness and meekness and temperance and faith and charity. And it just goes on and on and on. And I see so much, you know, so much is where I'm lacking, where there's a lack. And, you know, a lot of times we'll get in places like that. It's like, well, just forget it. I can't get it right. I'm never getting it right. Might as well forget it. But, you know, Jesus is helping us, you know, to really get in there. You know, we can get it right. We have this hope through him. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we should think or ask. And he said for any two or three, you know, he reminded us that last night. I know we done talked about it some, but, you know, I just want to thank him again. You know, last night we come in here and it was just a few of us just a few of us and us and it you know crowd dropped off which I normally I really try not to look at crowds I try not to look at numbers or empty chairs because really honest to goodness I'd rather have what we have and be true and faithful and you know really hungry and then I would a whole church full a whole building or synagogue full but some you know we come in last night and it's just man we might as well just wait you know because at the beginning we was wanting to push it closer to midnight we was wanting to pray through the midnight hour and I was thinking man it's going to be a long from 7 to 12, I don't know, and we normally don't go that long, we ain't, you know, come to that place yet, we, we, honestly, if three hours, we're doing great, it's been a great, you know, great run to go three hours for us, but, which it ain't in the time, you know, I'd rather just have a few words, something anointed, than have, you know, a whole night full of just nothing, you know, I'd rather have that true, that genuine, but we come in and I was nervous, blank as could be, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I had no thought, no nothing. I didn't know nothing. I didn't even know if we could. I mean, I was thinking, well, we'll just fill up a time of singing. And I didn't have a song. I, nothing. Nothing. Blank as could be. And, and some of them were late coming in, and which is, you know, fine. But the Lord reminded us when we were sitting over there right before we got ready to pray, you know, where He said, where well, there's two or three gathered together in His name that he be in the midst. You know, that's, that's right. a promise to us. That's not something to take for granted. That's not something just to throw off the shelf. He said right. two or three. That's right. And I think he meant when he said two or three. You know, he meant it. That's two right. or three gathered together his name. And he said he be in the midst. That's and, you know, we're looking for Jesus. We're hungering after Jesus, wanting to walk closer to him. But he'll come to us yes, if we just gather together in his name. Yes, but, you know, it was amazing because, honest to goodness, from the moment that that come to us and we knelt down to pray, Jesus walked right in this place and it was an amazing, you know, it was amazing. It was just such a sweet spirit and that's really the way the Lord's done the whole revival. He's come in every single night in such, such an unexpected way, just an unexpected, you know, I don't know, but 
But like I already said, you know, I have this thing, I just don't expect him. It's easy sometimes to go somewhere else and expect the Lord to move. You know, I know we were talking about that some last night, some of us, but it's easy to go somewhere else. Like a brother Reed, a brother Terrell, a brother Johnny, you know. I know Jesus is going to meet me there. I know that this is going to happen. I know it. But it's hard when you're walking through that door and then you've got to stand up here. That's right. And then it's on you. you yes, know. they are. That's right. It's right. Like, you know, I'm not done enough. I'm not fasted enough. I'm not prayed enough. I'm not read enough. I'm not studied enough to show myself approved. I've not been in this long enough. I'm not. You can fill in that blank and make it a great big old miles long, you know, thing of what you've not done enough of. But it's like the Lord reminds us, you know, he said to open your mouth and he fill us. And he said he would use that yielded and willing vessel. Right. He didn't need all this other. He don't need all this fancy, all this extra ordinary. He just wants somebody willing to be used. Amen. And I believe that, you know, just amazing the way the Lord does it. I'm just so thankful for what he's done and how he's moved. And so humbled and just broken in a good way, you know, just in a good way. It's our first service of this year, ain't it? Amen. He's Amen. Jesus. Praise right. the Lord. January. Already January. I feel like it was still January last year, but in a way, and then you look back again and it's like, man, that's a long time ago. But no, we're very thankful to be here. And like we said, I can't be thankful ain't enough of a word. Just glad to have Sister Jared and Sister Stephanie hey, here. Right. Just know, you know, it, it means more than anything could ever be added to. You know, it's such a great thing. You know, God's really used both of you, you know, Sister Jared, a lot to help us throughout our walk, you know, more than you ever know. I know when we first come into this thing, we was, we come down for revival, and we were down there in South Carolina, it was a tent revival, and we had come in, and it was one of those times we were supposed to come back, we were supposed to left early enough on a Sunday to get back here in time for church, in Linside, and we come back, and we was there, and they was having a morning service. Uh, it's been a few years back, so it's hard to remember, but some of them with us was wanting to go. They didn't want to hurry. They didn't want to stay. They didn't want to wait. But I was in a place in my life where I couldn't wait. You know, I had to have something right then. I don't know if I'd have survived it. I don't know if I'd have came out of that trial, that test, whatever it was, trying to bog us down, trying to sink its claws yes. in it. But that service was good. It was great. But there at the end, Brother Johnny had you get up there and pray for some. And, you know, there was some pushing us saying, let's go. We need to go. We need, we're going to be late. And I'm thinking, my God, I want prayer. I want prayer. I want something to help me. That's right. But then, you know, it just it's something the Lord done with that. It helped us. And it's been so many times like that. And I know, you know, it's just amazing how God can use his people, use vessels to help somebody else. You know, it's just so thankful Amen. and grateful for the brothers and sisters in Christ and for what they do and what they mean to us, you know, being right. able to come together. I know we, you know, just a fellowship together, but Amen. thank you, Jesus, for another opportunity. We're going to get ready to go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer and ask him to come into service, you know, he's been moving in great ways and yes, just keep our minds on the Lord and come hungry. He said that, you know, it's according to our faith to be it unto us. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we should ever think or ask. Does anybody have any requests before we go to the Lord in prayer? Yes, remember my dad and Uncle Bobby. All right. They held my heart and remember them. All right. Good. How old was she going to say during the word prayer? All right. Remember them. Remember Kathy Blue when they bring pictures of Satan's coming back home? All right. There was a. Uh, Man at work today, we was talking about, said we was in revival, and he asked us to pray for him tonight. His name is Mike Siebel. Uh, so remember him in prayer. He's been through quite a great tragedy, but he's coming out of it. He's got a good outlook on life, and he's wanting to make some changes this year. But remember him in prayer tonight. Told him we'll be praying for him, and he was excited. He said, good, I need it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, I remember Brother Pat on the nurse service tonight, too. And Joanna. We've got half of them up here, though. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
But do remember, continue to remember the service. As far as we know, this will be the last night of the revival. But, you know, I know God still, I really expect him to do something great tonight. You know, I don't know what, I don't have any idea. But I just come expecting and hope we all get it. That's right, come hungry. He said, blessed are those who should hunger and thirst. Amen. Amen. Righteousness, for they shall be filled. That's a promise. You know, he said every jaw, every tittle, line upon line, and precept upon precept. You know, he means it. His word's true. He's not a God that he should lie. He's not a far off God. Yes. But he's right here. He's That's right here. He's big yes. enough to hold the whole world in our hands, but yet small enough to fit inside of our hearts. Amen. Wow. Right. But thank you, Jesus. We'll find us somewhere to pray and reach out to the Lord for a little while tonight. <coughs>
Not that I want to talk to Jesus, but I want to let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell them all about our troubles. That's right. That's right. He'll answer by and by. Amen. 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 He'll hear the famous cry. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Jesus. He is. I believe he hears our prayers if we just yes, find ourselves and just talk to him. And you know, that's something the Lord showed us a while back. You know, it ain't nothing about, you ain't going to have no big fancy nothing. You ain't got to sound as good right. as who you think is the best sounding prayer out there. You know, right. really that don't get you nowhere. That tinkling symbol, that sounding brass, that ain't nothing. Right. But it's what comes outside the heart. Amen. And that's what Jesus feels. Right. And you know, ain't that good? Yeah. No matter how rich, how poor, how nothing, how, how famous, how nothing you are, but he knows you. Yeah. He's got every Amen. hair on our head numbered. Yes, he does. Right. And I know it was said the other night, but you know, he's, he knows when one sparrow falls out That's there in right. the woods in the yes, middle of nowhere. He knows when one falls. That's yes, right. And he said we were more valued than that than many sparrows. Yes, That's right. And I know I say it a lot, but just like them sparrows, you know, they're fed every day, they're sheltered, they're protected. They ain't got no big refrigerator. They ain't got no great big roof or nothing. All they got on their back is feathers and maybe a little bit of leaves over their head in a tree somewhere. Some birds might have a little better nest. I don't know, most bird nests I see are, you know, kind of like a bowl. It's totally open to all the circumstances, all the outside things. That's right. But, you know, I don't see too many starving. Somewhere right. along the way they get fed. Yep. Whether it be a worm or somebody feeding them bird feed That's through the right. winter. Yep. God might use somebody to feed them. But they're protected. They're watched over. Yep. But he Amen. said, how much more? We're more valued That's than right. those many sparrows. Yes. Right. And he said he supply all of our need according to his riches That's and his right. glory. Amen. You know, all of our need. Anything that we need. God, and he said to see, you never see him suffering or begging for bread or nothing. But right. Jesus has been so good to us. He's yes, worked he over is. our lives. He's really yes. helped us a lot. And yes. He's yes. helped me a lot. He's healed me a lot. He brought me out of a lot of different things, a lot of different traps and snares, things that I didn't think I'd come out of. Amen. Brought me out of a lot of places, you know. Thank you, Jesus. And I know he's done the same for all of us. You know, we could sit here and next year and not cover everything that the Lord's done. You know, you can't remember every single thing That's right. down through, you know, time. But Jesus got a camera of it. He's yes. watching it. Amen. And you know, what he done back then, he can do the same now because the Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, Amen. today, and forever. He Amen. never changes. He's the same. That's right. But I'm so thankful for Jesus. Glad he's, yes. Let us come back in here yes. another night. Glad yes. everybody coming out. And Amen. We're going to uh, ask Daddy if you will come up and testify. Say something for the Lord. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. On the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpectedly. But it is good to, you know, I was thinking meditating today. I just, you know, I just love the Lord. I just, you know, I just, you know, like I said last night, you know, I just, I feel like we let him down a lot, you know, but if we ever get to operating at the potential of what God's got, in, you know, me for us to be operating at, you know, he said, greater shall you do than I did. And, and, and you know, and you think, like I said last night, you know, in those shadows of Peter and John healing people and, and people, I mean, we just, I just feel like we're operating at such a sub level of what Christ is really got in mind for us to be operating or his desire. And I just don't want to let him down. And I was over there praying tonight and I was thinking about that whole armor of God and, and how we need to put it on because today it seems like there's spirits out there and it's just at every angle, every, and it, it's, and I don't know, you know, God's not, uh, you know, it doesn't matter to him or where you're at in, in this walk and, and, you know, you mean the same to him as, you know, as a big preacher. Yeah. But but these spirits out here, they're the same way. And it seems like these ministers are getting attacked so hard by these spirits. And, and I don't know, it's really been on my heart to pray for the men and women, the ministers of God, you know, out there preaching this gospel. And I was thinking about the putting on the whole armor, and I was thinking about Nehemiah. You know, Nehemiah wasn't really a preacher. He was kind of a working man, but he was a cupbearer. 
And uh, I know you all know the story, but I was just thinking, boy, if that ain't what we need to be doing today. You know, he went and built their walls of Jerusalem back. They had worked with one hand and had a sword in the other. That's right. And that, if we're not in that time right now, man, it's, right. it's, it's such a force out there attacking yes. God's people. Yes. And we need to be praying one for another Hallelujah. to get through this thing. And I just, I appreciate the Lord so much. I appreciate this revival. Appreciate the ones coming in, Sister Stephanie, Sister Jarrett. Just, I just thank a lot of them. Praise the Lord. I'm just so thankful that they made it. That little short drive up here. You know? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Probably didn't. No, that wasn't probably. Didn't have to take maybe one break on the way. <laughs> no, that's a drive. I'll tell you. I, uh, I've done it a few times, and this last time we come back after a night service down there and come back and had to work the next day. I pulled in the drive, went in the house, changed clothes, and went to work. That's how much sleep I had. And I thought, man, I don't know how Brother Dale does that. Because he does it pretty regular. And Sister Chelsea does it pretty regular, Sister Stephanie. I, I just, man, I just think, you know, I guess I've gotten old. But I just can't do that no more. They do it pretty regular. And I'm thinking, my Lord, the Lord's got to help us. But he does. You know, God will help us. And I've heard Brother Dale testify. It says, the Lord help me the next day. He'll come back on a trip like that and go to work, and when he comes home from work, he'll go work on his property. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And God's got to be in that, you know. Yeah. And God's and God's got us, you know. God's God's a loving God. He's a wrath on a judgment. We've been covering all that in this revival, but God's a God of love, right. you know. And 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 without charity, charity it probably should nothing. So everything we do, we you know we got to do in love. But anyway. I'm just so thankful that, that God has uh, allowed them to come up this way. Uh, I just, you know, I don't want to take up much time. I just appreciate God's people, appreciate this revival, and, and I love every one of them. But I just challenge you, I, I know that we could be operating at, at a higher potential than we're operating. I know God's got more in store for us to do, and it's time to get about our Father's business. And our Father being Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Sister Stephanie, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I wish you'd say something. Yeah, amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. You know, when you first had called me and asked me, did I have to work that weekend? You know, um, I was like, yeah, I had to work that weekend. And I was like, Lord, you know, I wish I could have brought her. You know what I'm saying? I said, Lord, because that's been a, a desire in my heart. You know, people, I was talking to somebody today, people labor, you know, for great paying jobs. And they labor yeah. for beautiful women or good looking men or, you know, fine houses or nice cars or whatever. I just labor just to be able to drive sister. You know, Sister Jared, that's Amen. all I'm going to do. You know? I said, God, that's what I'm going to do. You know, you said yes. we're more valuable than those sparrows. Yes. You know, Amen. He's seen that desire in that little bird, you know, yes. to be able to eat, to be able to, you know, take care of itself and come in from the weather. He sees it, the desire of the heart. Amen. He moves on that, you know. It's the intent. It's the intent of something. That's right. You know, before we go and do it, there's a lot of things that people, you know, you see so many on social media, they'll help this one or help that one, but the camera's rolling as they're doing it. Yeah. That's not an intent to help someone. That's an intent to lift up your flesh. There you know? go. But it's Amen. the intent of our heart that God sees and right. moves on. You know, right. He sees and He moves on that intent. And I want my intent to be right before the Lord right. because Amen. God can move in that. You know. Amen. And I said, Noah said I have to work. You know, and um, I had called Sister Jarrett and I said, Sister Jarrett, you know, I was talking to her about it, and it just seemed like there was one reason or another why we couldn't, you know, do do what we, you know, what we wish we could have done, and then it was like, you know, it just, I was like, well, okay, it seemed like, you know, at the time I had accepted that, then I got off the phone, you know, just like something was way back here, it was like, well, you know, that ain't right, you know, that's not right, 
you know. She'd been praying and fasting and seeking the Lord and getting in that closet and praying and, you know, I'm trying to say dedicate herself to the Lord. How many times have you seen her cry, Lord, I want to open doors. Lord, I want to. Yeah. And I said, Lord, that's not right. You know, I said, God, if something come by and, and it was a potential, maybe I could do it. God, I want to know, you know. At least try. You know what I'm saying? Brother Johnny said the Lord tries faith before he honors it, you know. And everything that was said, Sister Chelsea, has a reason to why it couldn't be. It seemed legit and reasonable and, you know, yeah, it seemed like God would understand, you know, yeah. that it was, yeah, it was okay. Yeah. And then something was in my, it was like, man, that's not right, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like sometimes you have to take an opponent that's bigger than you and grab hold and don't let go. Yeah. And you have to sling them down to the ground and get on top of them before they can you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. You've got to hold them there and make them submit. And that's the things that we have in God. He said you have to you know, press toward that mark, you know. That's grabbing a hold of something and said, I'm not letting it go, you know. I'm going to hold on to this, Amen. no matter what it is. You know, a lot of people, right. I was telling a friend on the phone today, I was like, man, it's not in, you know, all of this, great big monies and this and that. I said, Brother Johnny said, if God called you to preach to the Eskimos, and you know, in Alaska, and live in Eagle, you'd be content to do mm -hmm. that. I said, God, Lord Jesus, Brother Johnny, I, you know, he polished shoes. I said, God, I just want to drive, you know. And the Lord just fixed it. I called Sister Jerry. She was like, well, yeah, you know. we can." And it just so happens I work for the state. My first job is with the state. And today's New Year, so we got the day off. And God just put Praise it. Lord. You know, God Praise just put it. God just put it, you know. In that place, we might have it for a certain, you know, uh, in our understanding what we want to do here. But God's like, no, just go on, you know. Go on a little bit more like Brother, I think Brother Johnny said, Brother West said, if we turn before we get to our driveway, you know. Yeah. Then, you know, it's too soon. We're yeah. not going to get to where we want to be. And sometimes you know, we'll think, and you know, what it might be, but then God just changes it later. Sometimes we think God says no, that it's forever. And we just, oh, God, you know. But a delay is always a good day, you know. Yeah. A delay. Yeah. Once you see two boxes and they're going at it. They thank God for that bell that rings where they can go back in their corners and get some rest and, yeah. you know, get their wounds bandaged up and get that prep talk. You can do it. You got this. You got him on the, you know, and sometimes that's what happens in our fights with God. You know, God gets in there with us and, you know, encourages us, don't let this go. And it might seem, you know, foolish to somebody else, but it's important to the Lord. Yes. You know, it's important to God. I mean, that one man that he stood on that bean patch, Sister Chelsea, you know, nobody wasn't getting that beans, not one limit. Nobody wasn't getting a root. Nobody wasn't getting a stem. Nobody wasn't getting nothing. That man soared, like your daddy said, cleaved to his hand as he yeah, defeated right. in front of everybody. And he said, if I got it, if I was given a bean patch, this is my bean patch, and I'm going to defeat Amen. it. You know what I'm right. saying? And people might say, it's just a bean. There's something else up the road. But God didn't give me something else up the road. He gave me this. That's right. And Amen. that's what he expects me to defend and to fight. And, you know, so many times it's just been like a, a like a, a dream that was a far off. I was like, God, I just wish I could do that. Just drop, you know, just be full time and do that, you know. And then it's like, well, are you going to let this one, you know, time go? You know what I'm saying? Are you just going to not try to get in there and not try to see if at least you can done all you can do, you know, to make it come to pass. And then, you know, whenever I talk to him, God just fixed it. You know, Sister Jared always says, God fix it. You know, when you don't know how God fixes it, He just lays it right in your life. You're like, wow, how could that even? Yeah. Everywhere I looked three, you know, I looked 15 ways from Sunday and I couldn't see nothing. Yeah. But then God just fixes it. You know, He told yeah. Brother Johnny, He said, I don't just make a way when there seems to be no way, but when there is no way. You know, right. sometimes we think in our head, well, I got, I got $50 in the bank so I can depend on that. You know, that seems to be, you know, all right. right. But when there's nothing there, God said, I'm still the way. Right. Because that $50 ain't your answer. I'm your answer. That's right. You know, Amen. and that's what he wants us to walk by is by faith, you know. And if we can depend on our natural substance, our even natural knowledge of things, you know, people, you know, say, well, I, I took the time to learn all of this and it's valuable to me, but that's lifting up flesh. God wants us to go out there where there's not a, a limb to step out on and that's still right. step. You know, that's, that's right. depending on the Lord. That's depending on it, you know. I just thank God He made a way for us to come. Yeah. I mean, driving, when you're talking about the Lord, He said He has that book of remembrance, Sister yeah. Chelsea. He yeah. said, for all of them that think on His name, you know, that think on His name. Yeah. And with me and Sister Jerry get the car, it's so easy to travel because it's about the Lord. Amen. It's so easy yeah. to travel because yeah. it's about what God Amen. has done, how He's going to move. And, and I love it, boy. When we're just talking about something going on, and she just, 
the car gets quiet, she looks up and the Spirit of God speaks through her and I'm about to jump out the window because that anointing comes down in that car and I'm like, oh my God, Lord, you just spoke in this place, you know, you just moved in this car and I thank God for it, you know, people think that don't mean, that means something, if you just look at, oh, that Sister Jared, I know you miss. You miss that, that what's on the inside of her. You Amen. limit yourself by having an unlimited vision. Amen. And when you realize that's a child of God, a vessel which you yes. can pull out of and draw out of, that's an honor, that's yes. a privilege to be Amen. able to sit there. You know, she don't want to talk about butterflies and sunny days. That's just a waste of what God put her here for. Amen. You know, it's to, it's to, you know, line upon line, like you said, that's precept right. upon precept. Right. It's to be able to, you know, for, he said, the deep calls out to the deep and yeah. the noise of the word's about. And there's not a time that I've not went broken, that I've not went, you know, with absolutely, you know, prayers to just, God, let me go. Let yeah. me die. Let me die. Just so broke. Just so broke that God's not met me, you know, and Sister Jerry, that God's not met me. Yeah. And that's not, you know, I know she's a woman, but I know there's a God in that woman. Yeah. You know, Amen. And I thank God for that God and that woman. Amen. You know, he said, you're going to have to give life to one of them, Cain or Abel. And I thank God she gave life to Abel, to that spirit man. Right. Because Cain is that flesh man, and you don't see it. You know, one time I was, I had a friend of mine that said he had backslid, and he said that, you know, that um, he was looking. He grew up with a standard, you know, with women. And he said, with the backslid, he said he was looking for somebody to pray for him. And he said, I couldn't find nobody. You know, then it was years later that I found myself in that same position. And I said, well, Lord, you know, just thinking to myself, I said, God, if I can find somebody, I'll ask him to pray for me. You know, ask him to pray for me if I can just find that light that, you know, because it's a dark place out there. It's a dark place. And I thank God that we have examples. We have lighthouses that God puts in our path, you know, puts in our way that we can, you know, run to. That, because we can't see the rocks unless the light shines on us, Sister Chelsea. You know, we're just that... Don't, that sea in the storm, we don't know. We're tossed to and fro. We don't know which one. We don't know. You know, if we're sitting there and our navigation's busted, there's no way, there's no wheel to grab on. We just got to depend on the, on the tide, you know. But I thank God he lets those lighthouses be there. And there's people in their lives that refuse to let them be torn down. And I appreciate God. There's been many a one that God sent by many a day that helped me. You know, and I, I thank God that I, when we realize that our value is more than many sparrows, we'll stop seeking our value in other people's opinion Amen. and what they think of us because that, he must value that sparrow a lot if he takes care of it and he tends to it. You know, and he hears it when, it's, when it cries, you know. I mean, and it don't grumble, mumble, nor complain, you know, half as much as what I, you know, mean, Stephanie, I can't, I say me, you know. And then I'm like, God, you take care of him. Like you said, you can see that. Bird's purpose, you know, is to worship the Lord. That's it. He's God's got everything taken care of. And you can say, well, yeah, that's a bird. It's like, that's you. You know, you're supposed to be that same way, you know. But I, I just appreciate God for bringing us and for taking care of us and, you know, for speaking when we was on the way up here. And I'm telling y'all, I kid y'all not, every time I travel, just about every time I travel with Sister Jerry, we'll come a five-hour or three-hour trip. We'll look and we'll be here. Because that anointing will be yeah, that hard. Right. It won't be. You're thinking I'm going to be so tired. You're thinking I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be wore out. But you go and you're like, my oh, God, we're here. You know? I can't believe we got here. Yeah. We was leaving Walterboro one time. And we was just talking. It seemed like we was in the car 20 minutes. Then the Sister Jerry. And we looked up and saw North Carolina. You know, North Carolina. Because we were somewhere. And we was like, or no, South Carolina. I, I mean, um. Uh, well, Joanne, I think it was. And I was, she was like, my God, when did that, you know, get here? You know what I'm saying? Because it didn't seem like three hours. But when God takes over something, yeah, like, you know, then his prayer, he said, I'll be in the midst. And I like when Brother Johnny, he said, um, you know, he said two or three. He said, God is a majority. So you and him, that's two. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You and him is two. That's you know, right. so if there's nobody else but you and him, you know. Brother Joe went to God's Faith Tabernacle before I even knew there was a God's Faith Tabernacle. Went right by himself, and God sent a whole church bus of people. You know what? There was nobody but that God sent. You know, yeah. sent them. There was needs that needed to be met in Him and in them, and God works on both ends. And I appreciate God just in the prayers I've heard tonight. God's giving me answers just to be able. I can't tell you the last time I put the Spirit of God like that, Sister Chelsea, in prayer. You know, except when Brother Reed came and the Spirit of God, when God Himself come to my house to that room that He was speaking to me. You know what I'm saying? That's thank like, you, I, I thank God to be able to pray and feel the cleanness that prayer does to your soul. You know, that's a privilege and a blessing. But I know I go on and on. And I don't want to take up time. I just want God to have His way. But I just appreciate God for how good He's been to us. Amen. Praise the Lord.
still kill uh, making that journey, you know, for the big old good five hours, probably, you know. A good five hours. They're going to turn around, I guess, if we can't do something to the car. But they'll be on that ain't you? You got it? I'm going to let you sneak out a little bit. You can go out there and do whatever you need to do. Just don't tell Sister Stephanie or Sister Derek. I don't think they're listening. But I guess that, you know, that if we can't hold them, they're going to turn right back around tonight and go back. You know, Sister Stephanie's got to work tomorrow. And, you know, I know it ain't about lifting flesh, but Jesus sees it, you know, and that's the one that's going to honor it. You know, I know he'll bless, he'll reward. Somewhere down the line, some way down the line, yes, he'll do it. He'll give that strength. Yes, he I remember one time, like he was saying, you know, we went down there and come back after service and got back just in time to maybe lay down an hour and get ready to go to work. And I woke up, and it was one of those times that I could not hardly move. I was so tired. I couldn't move. I couldn't even hardly mash the button on the coffee pot to get it going. I was thinking, Jesus, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I told the Lord, I said, God, I can drink a whole pot of coffee. I can drink every energy thing I can find. And then it's going to do nothing for me if you don't give me the strength. If you don't give me what I need to make this way. And honest before the Lord, it wasn't in a couple minutes, and I just rejuvenated. It was like that strength come in. And see, Jesus is able to do it. You know, if we can get back in that place to trust Him, if we can get back in that place to have faith in His Word and believe what it says. I know we've heard several, you know, I think Franklin Graham was one of them. I think uh, it's several, you know, pretty high up people said that they don't understand the whole Bible, but they believe it. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, I heard it and I was like, ooh, I want to say that, but I can't because I don't believe the whole Bible. I really don't. And I know it sounds strange. I know it sounds like I need to just go bury myself in a hole, but I, my actions ain't proving it. I don't believe that all things are possible through Christ that strengthens yeah. me. I don't believe it because I'm not acting in it. You know what I mean? I don't believe, you know, I'm not acting in that believing, but I'm striving to get there. I feel like that's something the Lord's yeah. really helping us with, this revival. I want to believe the whole Bible. It's hard to believe that a whale swallowed a man and he lived in his belly for three days and three nights and he's getting back out on dry land. It's hard to believe something like that. But it's the truth. Yes. You know, and I want the truth. I yes. want to be made free. I want the truth to make us free. Yes. I don't want to be bound. I don't want the world to tie us down. You know, we That's live right. in this world. I, we're, all, we're still living in this world. But I tried the ways of the world. I tried the ways that I thought was right. And every time it comes in failure, it ended in failure, it ended in more heartache, more mess up, more turmoil, more whatever you can think. It was a deeper hole. That's right. Yeah. You know, and I know we say it, we've told it before, but, you know, it's our testimony. It's what Jesus done for us. But yes. we figured out that something had to change somewhere along the way. Something had to change. So I said, yeah. let's just go to church. It's, you know, it's got to be our help. We'll just go. I know a little bit about it. We'll just start reading the Bible. We'll start carrying it. We'll start going to church. We'll start dressing a little better. We'll stop doing this. We'll stop doing this, this, this. And I had me a little checklist in my mind, and I was checking things off right and left. And I wasn't getting nowhere. Sister K, nowhere. It wasn't until Jesus draw me, that right. draw me, and he, you know, it pulled me, and it brought me to that altar of prayer, and it changed my whole life, you know, and it ain't got to be in a church building anywhere, you know, and just because I come to the Lord then, I've come to the Lord a lot of times asking, asking for, for yeah, asking for forgiveness, asking for help, asking yes. for mercy, because yes. we can't do it without his mercy, we can't do it without his grace, without his long suffering. Amen. You know, we're not good enough. We can't do nothing good enough. But I'm so thankful for Jesus, thankful for what he's done and how he's reached out to us throughout our lives. Thankful for, you know, we've all got something. Like we told that Brother Daniel last night, you know, it's, we have told everybody that, you know, kind of pointed to him that you can go places, you can you can hear the word, you can read Bibles, you can read, you can hear preaching, you can hear all this stuff, but testimonies is something you'll never find anywhere else. It's a unique, personal, individual. Yeah. Something that you'll never find somewhere else, and it just it really helps and encourages. Amen. The men, women, and God, the people of God, anybody, it helps. That's right. And anyways, I'm so Amen. thankful for the Lord. We're gonna ask Mom to come around and sing a song. She's got one, and she be led to the Lord on it. And then we're gonna get Sister Jared to come around. And I want your watch before you get up here. I don't want you to look at it. I don't want you to think about the time. The store's done closed, so good. <laughs> you can't know what time it closes. I want you to be led in the Lord. I want you to do what God wants you to do. Amen. Amen. I believe there's needs in here tonight. I know I have needs. Yes. I know you might look to somebody, you might think, well, they 
God all this. They don't think, you know, they, they don't know the way to heaven, but you don't know what's inside yeah, their heart. Right. Right. hidden things that's on the right. hearts of the man that's, that we don't let out all the that's time. Right. That right. hidden cry right. is what right. scares me a lot of times, is that hidden. Yeah. But anyway, keep your minds on the Lord. Yes, God. We're going to let her. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
He brought me a mighty long way. Yes. 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 Um, he read this little book right here. Yes. He said, I'll never leave you. That's right. I'm going to forsake you. I'm going to wait to the end of the whole world. That's right. Oh, Lord Jesus, oh God. So thick and thin. Yes. Amen. He's been with me all the oh, God. Right. When I deserved it, maybe sometimes when I did. Yes. Right. Oh, God. See, he knows the end from the beginning. Yes, That's right. There's right. no surprises with him. That's right. You say, oops, I missed that one. That's right. Uh, he don't miss nothing. That's right. We don't. Oh, God. He, we were talking about this a little bit today. You know, he said, Oh God, he bottled up your tears. That's right. Yeah, he don't, he said, I try to try to, you know, bottle up your tears. He didn't say, don't try. That's right. You think when you pray? I said, go to the Lord one day. I said, Lord, I cry when I pray. Huh? Give me a whole bunch of finances, you know, and everything. And, oh God. And one day I looked at him, and I said, Lord, it looks like my tears are in this kind but they're not. They're bottled up in hell. Yeah. 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 My God, He knows your heart. Yes, He does. He knows your thoughts are far off. Yes, he knows right. your little brain. Yeah. That's right. He already knows. Yeah. 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 Oh God, the yeah. end of the circumstance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My God, and I'm so glad it said that He'll never leave us. Yes. Right. So do you make your bed in hell? I'm there. That's right. My God. Jesus. My God. I want to make it, y'all. Yes. Right. I tell you, it's scary. Yes. Yes. Amen. People say, well, you know, I, I think, I, I, Lord, don't, you know. You say, well, Jared thinks she's going to have my guess I have to. Uh -uh. That's right. We gotta do what this little book says. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. This little book right here. That's right. That's right. Oh God. And if we don't, oh God, oh God, we ain't gonna make it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Oh, I know you say, man, well, when you're talking negative, I'm talking about this little book right here. That's right. Oh God, oh God. That's the word. That's right. Oh God. He said, well, oh God, we're not holding this no man. No man. Right. Just see the Lord. That's right. Oh right. God, oh God, we ain't gonna go. Until oh God, we make this vessel right here clean yes. and holy and undefiled before him. That's right. No unclean thing is going to enter in. You yes. say, so, well, I can't be perfect. Well, if we ain't oh God clean and perfect and undefiled, we ain't going nowhere. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. My Jesus, oh God. We got to, he said, be perfect. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Well, we got to be like him. Yes. 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 First born among many, many brethren. Right. Oh God, and if we want to be, oh God, oh God, kin to Him, we got to be like Him. That's oh God. Right. My Lord, mercy, oh God. These churches got it all wrong, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Yes, do. Well, if you all come up here and shake my hand and, 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 and give me your money, we all go in heaven. And I don't think so. That's right. Oh God. Oh God. That's right. And then the next thing I tell you how good everybody is That's and everybody's right. good. Yeah. And y'all go out and have your good Sunday afternoon dinner. Yeah. Yeah. And everything's wonderful. Yeah. Uh-uh. That's right. That's right. Oh, God. He said, without holiness, no man will see the Lord. Not even saying my mouth. In his likeness and his fullness. Yeah. He said, every eye's going to see him when he comes. Right. What we're going to see is what we missed out on if we don't about us. As my dad used to say, straighten up and fly right. That's right. Yeah, right. Oh, God. That's right. And what my dad used to say, he says, Eric, you got to straighten up and fly right. That's right. Yeah. My dad used to say, oh, God, I got to cry, you know. Because yeah. I thought I hurt my dad so bad, but I didn't do nothing, you know. My Lord, oh God. Oh God, the Lord has been good to hold on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh God, we're here tonight. Amen. Yes, we are. Oh God, for. For, oh God, a closeness and a realness yes. in Him. Yes. That's what I want. I'm going to be like Him. Yes. 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 I'm the firstborn among many brethren. Yes. And your, all your brothers and your sisters know to be like each other, aren't they? Yes. Yes. My God, we're born of His Spirit. Yes. Yes. Forgive me. Yes, God. And then me. 
slip up and do it again. Oh God, he'll forgive you if you're earnest in your heart. That's right. Yes. Amen. Huh? You right. got, he looks on your heart. Yeah, he does. That's right. Like God, oh, saying, I'm saying I'm a millionaire, but that don't make me one. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. My God, you can say, oh God, right. God, you can go and, oh God, and do what you want to, oh God, and, but God, we got to do what the school book says. That's right. Yeah. Oh God, what well, what somebody, oh God, you say, well, I don't believe he requires that. Oh God, but I, I believe, oh God, he wants all of us. Yes. Yes. My God, yes. God, give our life to him. Oh, yes. He gave his life for us, yes. and we got to do the same thing. Yes. God, walk yes. in his way, walk in his word, yes. walk in the spirit yes. of God. Yes. We are not fulfilled by God. Yes. Yes. Oh God, God, we got to be, oh God, in the highway of holiness, and there's the place we got to walk in. Yeah, my God. God, be holy as I am holy. That's what he said. Right. Without him, he said, you can do nothing. Right. And that's about what happened in the lot of these churches around. Yep. Ain't nothing happening. Right. God, we got. I've been up here about five minutes. Or so. We've got about maybe ten minutes. We've got to hurry because everybody's, yeah. oh, uh -huh, that's a bunch of junk. That's, that's right. right. Because, right. oh, God, I don't care if we stay here all night. Yeah. I got mama to go home and get away with it. I need something from God. Yeah. And I was in my aching hospital, 
and uh, been in there for two or three or four days, but I got worse and worse. And so uh, the doctor came in, Mom and Daddy said, and he held me, Mom said, pick me up, he held me a few minutes, and he probably saw my countenance change or something, and he put me on the bed or crib, and said, there's nothing else I can do, and walked out the door. Well, Daddy went over, and um, he picked me up. My granny was there at the time, but my granny said, and picked me up. And Mama went over there and looked at me, and said my eyes was already kind of in the back of my head, you know, sad or whatever she calls it. And, and uh, Daddy started, my daddy, well, granny, she was holding us, long time holding us. And, and um, whenever granny come to town, we all go to homeless church, but daddy stayed home. When granny left, we went back to the Baptist church, daddy always went. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you no story. Okay. Okay. Uh, he ain't never go to homeless church. Yeah. He was strictly Baptist. Yeah. And we all sit on our pew. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then uh, when we went to homeless church, Daddy stayed home. And that's when Granny come, see. That's right. Oh, God. I tell you, Granny shut all over that place. That was a long time ago. That's right. That was a long, long time ago. But <laughs> I'm old, y'all. <laughs> Daddy picked me up. And my eyes was different. And, in other words, I was dying. And I uh, said, all of a sudden, Daddy started walking with me, and he started praying. And my granny was, you know, she couldn't hardly. Well, so I never did think your daddy could pray like that. I ain't never heard him pray like that. I ain't never heard nothing. Well, God had already from me, you know. But, oh God, you know, God, she, she looked over there at me after a while. My eyes was all right. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. I saw doing whatever I was doing. I don't know, wiggling or, or panting for breath or something. But I, I, it was all right. And he put me down. Oh, God. And then, oh, God. He said, there's, you know, God said there's nothing he could do. But see, Jesus come on the scene. Yeah, yeah. Right. And Mama said I was home in about two days. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. Lord knew we were supposed to be here tonight. Yes. Yeah. So God right. said, this is, uh, He done seen this, yeah. sir. Right. He's the Alpha and Omega, the yeah. beginning and yeah. the first and yeah. last. Amen. He knows what God is in and from the good beginning. Yeah. He said they that have their name written in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the world. That's right. Amen. For blade of grass was spoken in. That's right. Right. He knew. That's right. He knew our name. That's right. He knew that's what the Bible says. That's right. That's right. Oh, whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate. Yes, yeah. amen. Oh God, right. he said, I didn't, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. Right. Right. My God, my God, oh God. He has a people after his own name. Yes, he does. Yes. My Lord, my yes. Lord, oh God. It's time, Lord, of a treasure of God. My, oh my God, it's time to get a hold of the hearts of the heart. Yes. And not let it go until, oh God, we get something real and yes. great and deep yes. from God. Yes. He said the deep is calling. before that right. until you how good you are right. and then you can go home and live like you want to. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's the truth. I mean, we got to sing two or three songs and yeah. that's it. Yeah. We good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no change. Yeah. Uh -uh. Right. Uh -uh. We got to have change. That's right. I got to have change. I don't need to change. I don't need to change. I don't need to change. Yeah. 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 Ye
Why do we say in Jones? <laughs> See? Well, it could be. But the Lord knows. That's right. yes. See? He From does. the foundation of the world. That's right. My God. See? Yes, he does. Yeah, I don't know how many hairs. He knows when one of them comes out. That's right. He does. He does. Yeah. Uh -huh. He knows your thoughts. Far off. Far off. Right. To your brain. Right. He knows. See? Right. Because he is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning yes. of the first yes. and the last. He said, yes. I am He. Yes, my yes. God. We serve the God. Yes. And you can't call yes. somebody's name down until you know it. That's yes. right. Thank God. You better know that person. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, yes. oh, God, there could be 10 people out there. The Lord knows all of them. Yes, He does. Yes, he does. And I put my name down. Yes. Is that right? No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, huh? Yeah, that's not you. Okay. Praise the Lord. I can't write them down. Right. And I gotta know them. That's right. Yeah. Then I can write them down. That's See, right. Jesus knew us. Yes, he did. Jesus knew us. He called us. He chose us. That's yes, right. Who did he right. say? He said, I come to the holy ones of Israel. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. He come to the chosen. That's right. Yes, yeah. right. will. Man, come. Right. And all no eyes. Cast them out. Right. My Lord, right. thank the Lord good. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, see this word right here? I'm telling you, when you read this word right here, it gets pretty deep. Yes, it does. Amen. See, pe people, people today, they don't preach nothing. I don't know what they preach. They go to the seminary. And be taught. Well, what do they know? That's right. Uh, they're That's like right. cookie cutters. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Awesome. That's right. Uh, Amen. Amen. I don't want to be saying, I'm going to be like Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. Lord, yeah. I'm going to God. Oh, God, he's looking for people. Yes. Yeah. I want to be one. Oh, Lord. Don't you want to walk all over heaven together? We just have yeah. us a yeah. yeah. My God. My God. My God, oh God, no telling what the Lord's got in store. That's right. Because He's going to do a work in this last day. Yes. Yes. My God, oh God. Right. In the last days, He said, I'm going to dribble it out my spirit. No. That's right. He said, I'm going to pour it out. Pour it out. And I thought, I could give you a cup of water. I didn't want some. Yeah. That's right. Want some? But when I get it, Pour it, yes. That's right. And pour it all over. Yes, amen. Yes. Oh, God, she got some. Yes, she yes. does. She yes. got yes. some. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. You can see it on That's me. That's right. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, we are separated from the yes. world. Yes. God. This world is not our home. We're just passing through. That's right. My God. Oh, the treasure's already done. Somewhere behind the moon. Right. He's expecting me from the heaven's open door, and I sure, sure don't feel at home in this world anymore. That's why we're here tonight. Because we all want to go to hell. That's right. I saw the, I saw hell. Don't want to go there. Oh God, I was standing on the cloud, and Jesus was there. And oh God, I looked over, and then I saw this big lake of fire. And it wasn't flaming up, it was just like a lake. Mm -hmm. and, and I got down on my knees, you know, and I held on and I looked and I saw hell. And the whole, everywhere I saw it was that lake of fire. And it was that orangey yellow color, the flame, the color of fire. Yeah. And those people, and it was kind of like they got on here. On people. Well, um, some people come out on here. I see, you know, you could tell the shortness. And I looked. Oh, God, it was so bad. It was so bad. Oh, God, I thought, oh, God, I don't want to go there. Yes. And, oh, God, that was when I was about in the sixth or seventh grade. See, you remember some things the Lord shows you. That's right. If it's from the Lord, you That's remember. Right. Amen. And uh, then I saw about the same summer, I saw, oh God, all of a sudden I was, oh God, in, way up in the clouds. 
Ooh, I guess we have in the grass because I could see grass. And uh, I was walking down this street and I come to these big, oh, they were really pretty doors, gates. It was a gate that opened in the middle and it yeah. came out like rats. Oh, God. And I thought, oh, the angels opened it when I got there. Yeah. And I walked through the, through the gate. And I come to got this far. And I remember stopping. I remember looking around. And then I come out of my train. He said, No, it wasn't much. Well, I made it. That's right. I made it. Don't y'all know. I can't do 
put to me on your paper. That's right. That's right. I wake up, oh, I'm going to go out of sale. That's right. I, I want a clean slate. That's yes. what I want. Yes. I'm going to have a good taste. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Yes. yes. I know, that ain't, that ain't too hard. No. But man, because I'm going to go to heaven. Yes. Right. I'm going to go to heaven. Amen. Or he's seen it. Seen the other place, too. Trust me, heaven's better. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Heaven's better. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I want to see the angels, don't oh, you? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We can all go stroll all over heaven together. Yeah. Huh? For millions and billions and trillions of years, time is no more. Didn't he say it? Time is no more. God, oh, God. See how wonderful. And that God, why are we here tonight? Because the Lord chose us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Jesus, the people out of the people, oh God. The come, oh God. Oh God, and repent and do your first works over, oh God. Amen. My Lord, oh God, all we ask, oh God. Oh God, you love me and keep my commandments. That's right. Oh God, obey this little book right here. Yeah. Oh God, have a humble, contrite spirit. I won't despise that. Yeah. Sure. Oh God, and some, most of the time, I feel like I, I got a long way to go. In a short time to get there. Yeah. Oh God, that's why when I pray, especially at night, or, or if I have a long time during the day, some pray, 15, 20 minutes, I go and pray some more. And I repent. Yes. Oh God, so oh God, you know, you can't be too clean when comes to Christ. I, I guess this thing three months ago. It should be clean. Uh-uh. Because uh -uh. uh -uh. it gets dirty. That's right. Just like right. the boss. Yes. We, right. we mess up. That's right. And we better, yes, we do. We better repent. That's right. Yes. And mean it. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Because he, he looks on the heart when you tell him something. That's right. You know? That's right. Well, you can tell if people like you or not. They don't have to already say a word. Yeah. Right. Well, God, you can tell it. Yeah. Oh, God. God knows his elect, too. Yeah. Oh, God. Amen. He's going to have a people. Jesus. Oh, God. The people will all be humble and have a humble and contrite spirit. Yeah. He won't despise that. Mm -hmm. But, oh, God, I want this close to walk. Yes, Lord. Amen. And there's a, I always say this, but I can't help it. I can't help it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Y'all probably know it. But, you know, me and me and you, me and y'all, can we can walk close together? You know, we can yeah. walk right here and I can walk right here. You know, just stand still by saying, yeah. But a closer walk is when get on there. Get on there. Get on there. So you have that close walk. Yeah, right. But we can walk like this. You get up and have this space between us. Yeah. But there's a song just. A close Yes. Yeah. Granted, Jesus is my place. Yes. Yeah. 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 Come, we're close to you. Let's be your Lord. Yeah. Oh God, I know I might be a little bit different than everybody else. Right. But oh God, God, my God, I, I, this is where the Lord made me. Yeah. Oh God, and oh God, He healed me so many times. Oh God, and, oh God, He did this so many times in dreams. My God, when I used to work, I used to work and fast, oh God. My Lord, mercy, oh God. God, I've got to get back on my fasting. You know, you yes, like you got to get back on your fasting. i got to get back. I mean, I fast a little bit here, a little bit there. I mean, fast. That's right. That's right. Because of God, time is running out. Yes, it is. Time is fixing to be no more. That's right. And He Man. said in the last days, He's going to pour it out. That's right. I'm trying to purify all fast. But all flesh ain't gonna receive it. So right. They're gonna go and do their own thing. Yes, and whatever, oh God. But it's gonna mean, oh God, something from us, oh God. We'll be filled with the fullness of God. Oh, and then he's gonna do a quick work because it's Christ in us, oh God. And the hope of glory in us. Oh, yes, oh God, we gotta be like him. Yes. Yes. And we're gonna amen. sing as he is. As he is now. And well, we are in this present. That's world. right. Right. He's not going to have any sin. Oh, God. Oh, well, he said, few going to find this. That's what he said. Yeah. Amen. He said, few. Few. Oh, God. 
see you. That's right. right this way. And oh God, I hope, I hope I can find find a place where I'm supposed to yes, be. Yes, right. And keep his commandments. Glory. And have a humble contract spirit. Right. Right. Oh God. Yes. God, I want to live in the heavens. Yes. Oh God, don't y'all want to live in the heavens? Yes. Yes. Concept of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I don't. I don't. Oh God. But I love the Lord tonight. Oh. Yes, Amen. Oh God, I thank you for everything. Yes, Amen. My God, He's done. And in my life, and in my heart. Yes, yes. And in my very being, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God. And I believe we're gonna get close to walk. Because yes. He said this. He said, "Bless." Are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness? Right. For they shall be filled. Yeah. And when you fill something, that's all you get. You know, if you have a glass and it's clear like crystal, and I pour a whole bunch of milk in it, and it comes to the top, you can say, boy, that's full, because you can see it. That's right. If you pour any more, it's dry. That's right. But oh God, you see it, oh God. We gotta be full. That's right. Yeah. 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 Ye
it just, I don't know, the president couldn't walk in the building, and I, I mean, I, it, he couldn't walk in and me feel any greater honor than I do with, you know, Sister Jerry. That's right. Amen. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. I appreciate what they're doing for me. You know, places you walk, there's a real place. There's a real people of God, and it's yes. rare. Amen. You can't find it everywhere. You can't find that genuine. No. You know, Jesus coming into somebody's life and changing them, making them new, creating a new creature. Right. And then it lasts them forever, yeah. you know, which I don't think she's old, but she claims she is. So she's been around a little while. Yeah. She might think so, but, you know, I don't know how old we're going to live to be. But I know God will preserve. Yes. And that's what I'm praying. I'm praying God preserve these. Oh, yes. That thinks that, you know, not that, you know, I know age. I know age is what it is. It's a fact. But it's a fact of life. But I'm praying God preserve these that he's put his word in. Because yes. I don't see any more around. Right. I don't see any more. You know, I need that soundness. I need that word. Amen. I need what God's put in these vessels. I need it to survive. He's helped me this far. And I, I need it to continue on. Amen. In Jesus, but so thankful. I want you to do your best, do what you can. I know they made a long journey, and you know, unless some miracle, which I don't doubt Jesus, but I'm sure they had to pay when they come up in the gas pumps. When they come through there, you know, come up that journey, they might have had other needs, other situations. But they had to, you know, have finances and. I ain't trying to preach for or say nothing for no kind of money, but you know, God blesses us to be able to bless others. And he said it was more blessed to give than to receive. And it's not, you know, it don't take what some thinks it does just out of your heart, but do what you can and be a blessing to them. And uh, we're going to get ready to pray and be dismissed, but do be praying for them on our journey. We're going to you know, praying that they make it safe and let it go as it did coming up. You know, I believe it will. Yeah. I believe Jesus can just walk on in that car. But yeah. Amen. Thank you so much. Appreciate him. Jesus. Again. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. But let's go ahead and pray. Jesus. Oh, we thank you so much. Lord, so loud. God is great privilege and opportunity to be gathered together in this service, Lord, and I want to take not one ounce of it for granted, not one single word, Lord, help us to retain it, Lord, help us to hold on to it, hold on to what we felt, Lord, hold on to what you've said to us, and just hold on to faith, God, you're able to heal, you're able to deliver, and you're able to save, Lord, help us to have that humbleness, Lord, and that meekness when we come to you in our prayers, Lord, keep us safe. Lord, be with Sister Jarrett, Sister Stephanie, as they travel back down the road. Lord, keep them safe. Lord, keep up watch around them. Don't let any harm come to them, Lord. Don't let any harm come around them. Jesus, keep them safe. Let your angels be encamped about that car as it goes back down. And God, please, God, we ask you to bring them back again sometime. Lord, let it be ordered of you. Let us be led by you. Lord, be with each and every one that's given tonight. Lord, bless them. Lord, you know how to bless back, God. You'll do it. You said it's more blessed to give than to receive. And I know you're able to do it. Lord, be with them. Keep them safe. Lord, keep us all safe. Let this word dwell in our hearts. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.